What's up, trainers? I'm Kate with Project Ares, the cybersecurity platform for foundational, intermediate, and advanced gamified cyber learning content. In this video, I want to talk about how you can start thinking about Project Ares like a gym. When you walk into the Project Ares gym, you're going to see all kinds of different areas that'll give you everything you need to be a top-notch athlete. Then within each area, you'll see equipment that you can use to train specific muscle groups. So if your school provides every student with access to this state-of-the-art gym, that's awesome. But let's kind of take a sec and imagine that you're one of those students and you've walked through the doors of that gym for the first time. There's so much choice, it's pretty overwhelming. How do you choose where to go and what to do? Okay, so say your students have been instructed to explore the gym and just start working out. It happens all the time. But let's see what that training method often looks like. So this is a training analysis that we've pulled together for these students and what they did with their day of totally free reign in the gym. Well, they did explore, but it kind of looks like most students just played eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Like here, Travis used a leg press and then a rowing machine and then a treadmill. And now check this guy out. He somehow found himself in a prenatal yoga class. And look, Emma spent 35 minutes in the sauna and then got a smoothie. So they all had access and they all used it. But here's the real question. Do you think any of them are motivated to come back tomorrow? What we at Project Aries know is that nothing drives motivation like a plan. Well, all right, so how do you get a plan? How do these students learn to navigate only the equipment they need and then keep up that desire to come back tomorrow and next week and next month? That's where you come in. In the gym of Project Aries, you're like a personal trainer. And what that means is that you have the power to give these students everything they need to be inspired, motivated, and empowered to create their own version of success. Great. How? Well, in order to build a tailored plan, you're going to need some background info first. What are the goals of your students? You know, if one of them's promised his girlfriend that he'll do the dirty dancing lift with her on spring break, what is he doing in the pool? What's their starting point? Have they ever used free weights before? Do they know the difference between a row and a deadlift? And then what timeline are they working with? You know, are we going hard to meet that spring break deadline? How much time can they realistically commit to each week? Once you know those things, then you can create a training routine by aligning workouts in the gym directly to their goals. But then what? Do you just hand them the plan, slap them on the back and say, good luck? No way. Because depending on who you are as a personal trainer, you'll spend as much time as you need to working right next to them, giving them the tools, talking them through failure and motivating them to keep going because it's hard, but it's gonna be worth it. Just like a gym. And hey, don't forget that you've got us. We on the Project Aries team are here to support everyone in the gym, especially our personal trainers. We know that each individual personal trainer style is as different as each individual person. So we want to make sure that you have all the tools you need to help build a path to student success. From training plan templates to full pre-made courses to custom lesson plan design services, we've got your back. We even have personal training for personal trainers, where you get an instructional walkthrough of our gym and equipment and how you can use it to start supporting your students' goals. Because, I mean, who knows? Maybe if that student's dirty dancing lift goes viral on TikTok, the trainer who got them there will too. Stay vigilant out there, trainers. And until next time, we'll see you on the training ground.